What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome to another 6-inch Black Series Star Wars action figure review. This time we've got a brand new one. This was only revealed a couple of weeks ago, and it is popped up in stores here on today, Force Friday. Today is Triple Force Friday, um, and Zing Pop Culture stores here in Australia have gotten this exclusive in. Um, I jumped on it last night as soon as the... As soon as all the merchandise went live at 12.01 a.m. Uh, for, for today, I uh, did a click and collect and uh, picked this baby up. I've been really looking forward to this figure. Um, so we'll get a look at the picture on the front. This is Luke. Jedi Knight. Obviously not numbered, being an exclusive. And on the back it just says Luke Skywalker was a Tatooine farm boy who rose from humble beginnings to become one of the greatest Jedi the galaxy has ever known. So we'll put the box back there and we'll get a look at the figure. Try and get a nice close-up look of Luke here. Um, so this is one that's been eagerly anticipated, um, especially with the new photo, photo real tech coming out for the face paint apps. Um, and this one looks pretty damn good. I really do like the soft goods robe. Um, there are some issues here with some extra threading that sort are of coming through where they've just they've tacked the uh, hood in place so it holds at a certain spot. Um, that'll be just a simple case of just snipping those ends off. Really, really simple. Um, but it does sit nicely over the top of Luke there. It's just so it tacks and the way they've tacked it so it sits on the shoulders nicely and sort of acts like that. It looks like a natural fall um, with the weight of the hood. And it does look good on the back too. And to take it back, if you play with it a little bit more, you can get a nice natural natural falling look of the uh, hood there over the back. But this is very much a uh, upscaled version of the most recent vintage collection one we saw in the San Diego Comic Con 3-pack. And uh, I have reviewed those figures, so definitely go back and have a look if you haven't seen that. So let's take the robe off and have a look at the figure itself. Uh, he does come with his blaster. So when he steals Jabba's palace, when he threatens Jabba, and his lightsaber, the blade is removable, as is the case with most of these lightsabers these days. Um, it appears to be a slightly new mold. Uh, it's got the peg in it, it's got those slightly studded bits on it, it's just so it locks in nicely. Um, but uh, Let's get to the head sculpt, because that was... Pretty nicely done. Again, Hasbro's going with the individual hair piece. So they can get the most out of those paint apps in the face without having bleeding colours and, and stuff like that coming through. It looks pretty nice. Um, does look a bit funny in some lights. Um, and the uh, glam shots that were released yesterday made his eyes look really dark um, and I can sort of understand how that would happen in some lights but for the most part it's a great improvement over the existing Return of the Jedi the final duel um, I should also mention that they uh, they did throw in one of these stands seems to be a thing with exclusives I'm not sure if the rest of the figures are getting them um, I'll find out today as I get the rest of the uh, Black Series new Black Series figures that are out today In terms of the rest of the figure, um, it is the same figure underneath as the Return of the Jedi figure. It is exactly the same. What they've done is they've put this soft plastic tunic over the top. Um, and the reason you can tell that is because you've got the uh, chest flap over the chest and that you can actually feel that it's still, still removable. Um, so it's still under there. Um, be interested to see whether anyone does attempt to get this rubber vest off. If you're soaking in some hot water, you could probably do that. Um, but all in all, this it has new hands as well, I should mention. Um, so here's a blaster hand. And the new hands they're, they're using now have a lot better grip than some of the old ones. Fingers just didn't quite wrap around enough on some of the older Black Series figures. But overall, it's a very welcome addition to the collection. Um, it could, could be the Divinity version. Um, I always thought a deluxe, I know a lot of people thought the same, a deluxe version would have been great. Um, 
you could chuck an indoor poncho and an indoor cap um, a few other bits and pieces would have been great but we can mess around and do some customizing and give him some different soft goods and I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this figure um, so definitely definitely keep your eyes open articulation wise he's got a ball jointed head ball hinged neck ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows ball hinged wrists there is a torso joint underneath there ball hinged hips with thighs double jointed knees and ball hinged ankles so all the awesome articulation you expect but that's just about it for this figure i hope you've enjoyed this video and until my next one, may the force be with you, always.